Hello guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to simply send data and files with Ajax jQuery to PHP. First of all, we create a form. I'm adding a class of upload and ID of commercial, so I'll send the data later. What you need to do is create action of your PHP file that will handle the data, a method of post, and encryption type of multi-part form data, which defines that we're uploading files, not just data. So one of the most important things that we need to add is to your name, uh, we have to add these two open brackets and you have to add attribute of multiple, else you won't be able to choose multiple files, you can only upload one. And then I submit one. So what we're doing right now, I'm going to Ajax, I'm using form and class of upload, submit, and function of events, which is just short, shorter for event. And First of all, what we do is we say e.prevent.default, which means that the the page will not go to PHP file, and instead it will stay on this file, and it will just send the data. We're getting URL of action, which is the PHP name, PHP file name. Uh, we're going to type, uh, which is post method, and now what we do is if we want to upload files, what we do is we create a new variable. I'll name it data. You can name it anything you want. I'll just have to specify it here. We create a new form data. We add the name or class or anything that attribute of this element. And then we add open brackets, zero, close brackets. And this depends uh, in which place it is. Since it's first thing that I'm choosing, it's zero. If we be if we would be like here and so bit more would be open or uh, upper, it will be first instead of zero then. And closing that. And now comes the ticket part. It took me a while to find how to do this. And if you wish to add some more specific data, not just the files, it was your variable name, dot append, the key, and the value. And in my case, I'm choosing the ID of this form. So I'll know what to store the files layer. Uh, we call the simple Ajax request. We are typing a URL URL, which is our file name of PHP, type of post, and our data. The next important thing what we have to do is add process data false, because else uh, jQuery will just mess up with your files and uh, you won't be able to upload them. They will be preceded as data instead of a file. And after that, if it's successful, we just get answer and I'll change this box to contain the answer. So upload PHP, it will be a real simple one. Well, echo and JSON encode the files that we have, the file method. Okay, so we choose the conventional, upload, open, submit. As you see, it uploaded a file. You can see temp name, you can see name, file, my name, which is file, my file. And now what we do is, well, echo dot post method, which is, which is our data that we send. And we choose file, and you can see the ID is commercial. If we want, we can add more data. For example, let's say, um, uh, let's say, name class. Let's say, open, choose files. As you see, it has all of the data you send. The thing is, all the files will be sent with dot um with files uh, with files and all the data other than files will be sent as post so that's 